your anxiety and your child's anxiety isn't logical and isn't rational. After all, if it was a rational problem, then we could use our rational brain, our rational mind to just say, oh, I have no reason to be anxious about going to school today. I have no reason to be anxious about the drive to the hotel today. We could just use our logical brain. The rest of our lower parts of our brain and body would go, oh, thanks. Thanks for the message. I will stop my heart racing out of my chest, my overthinking, my breathlessness, my horrible sick feeling. Oh, yeah, totally. Thank you. But the reality is when we look at the brain, the top part of the brain, which you can see here in green, which is what I'm talking about, the rational, reflective, oh yeah, I can think about this in a different way, is often where anxiety and treatments for anxiety are addressed, particularly the front part of it which is the most logical, rational reasoning part, which in children isn't fully developed until, ooh, to be honest, they're nearly 30. So not much use for anxiety. The middle part, the orange bit that you can see, and the red bit, they are major players in anxiety and they're attached, especially the red bit is directly attached to the body. So when we remove anxiety at those levels by making the body feel safe, so doing work that goes directly to the system that's running through the body and sending information up to the brain, then whew, things can really improve. And you can see over on one side, it says 5% and 95%. Well, what does that mean? It means that what's been discovered for a long, long time now is that great big green, rational, logical, let's think about this differently brain is only online for all of us about 5% of the time. So targeting anything at that part of the brain, to be honest, is a waste of flipping time. The lower parts of the brain, so the orange and the red bit and the body, they are running the show 95% of the time. So that's called our subconscious. So it's the bit that we're not aware of. And that is where anxiety sits. It's there, it's wired into something called our autonomic nervous system. And when we work with that, and we bring that back to a healthy way of working and functioning, so it's efficient, then we can get rid of anxiety. So if that sounds interesting, let me know because I'm planning to do some workshops on this specifically for people like you.